Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into our new series, Designing for Injection Molding. My name is Constantine, and in each episode in this series, we're going to be discussing some of the common things we encounter when designing parts for injection molding. In this episode, we're going to be talking about draft angles, what they are, things to consider, and later, I'm going to go in Fusion 360 and show you how you can add draft angles to your existing parts. But first, download our free injection molding guideline at the link below. So what is a draft angle, and why is it important? A draft angle is a design feature that allows a part to be cleanly released from its mold. Without draft angles, drag marks can occur on the surface of your part, your tool life can be decreased, and the production cycle time can greatly increase. Here, we have two 3D printed examples of parts with and with it without draft angles. This part does not have a draft angle. You can see it here, there's two right angles, and the part, when it comes time to be ejected from the mold, will drag across creating potential scratches on your part, decreasing the tool life of your tool, and also increase the, the cycle time needed to produce the parts. This part does have a draft angle. So you can see here that there's a slight angle, and when it comes to remove your part, it comes out much easier. When designing parts for injection molding, there are three important things to consider. Fits, texture, and injector mechanisms. Starting with fits, it's important to consider the origin face where the draft angle would start. If you have a mating part that has a right angle, it's important to consider that the addition of this taper does not interfere with your other part, causing a mismatch. If you add a draft angle to a part, but you don't add the draft angle to your mating part, it's not gonna fit properly. So these are some important things to consider. Next is texture. A mirror-like surface finish is much easier to eject from the core as there is very little friction. However, for every injection molding part, we recommend using at least the 0.5 degree of draft angle to avoid any risk of scraping. With textured surfaces, it's a different story. The deeper the texture goes into the part, the greater the draft angle you need to successfully eject this part from the core. Rough textured parts might require 10 degrees or more of draft angle. However, as a general rule of thumb, for every 0.1 millimeters of depth your texture has, you should add 0.4 degrees of draft angle to your part. And lastly, we have ejector mechanisms. A sufficient draft angle would ensure easy ejection of the part from the mold, simplifying the ejector mechanism, sleeves, pins, plates, and minimize the chance of the part warping. It would also potentially even decrease the cycle time of this component, thus bringing down your overall cost on the project. Now let's take a look at how to add draft angles to existing designs. Here is a relatively simple injection molding part that currently lacks draft angles. You can tell here it's 90 degrees. And same for the outside and you can visually check by sectioning it. And if you check over here, you can see that those two are parallel. One way to check is just to see if there's a difference in the angle. In this case, it shows a distance, which means they're parallel. Now, let's add a draft angle. You click the reference surface and then the faces. In this case, I will select both. And then I add a draft angle of 1.5 degrees because that texture would dictate the angle. We're not done yet. We should also do the same operation for the outside. Let's say we have a different texture. Let's say it can be something smoother, so we don't need a different angle, and one degree should suffice. And here, we section it again, and take a look at one side. You can tell that this is not exactly perpendicular to the reference surface, and neither is this inside cavity. One more check to see if it tells a different distance for the angles here and here. We get an angle of three degrees, two times 1.5. And it's the same for the outside, a two degree angle. And that's it. That was it for our injection molding episode on draft angles. If you have any questions, concerns, or recommendations for a future video topic, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. If you did, 
please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for future episodes and other engineering content. See you in the next episode.